meeting for January 21st, 2020. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. And Trustee Cameron? Present. Carbonero? Present. Daney? Present. Gabrenya? Here. Hopkins? Here. Ranky? Present. President Wallace? Here. We have requested um, Pastor Michael Fueling of the Village Church of Bartlett for invocation this evening. Pastor Fueling? Hi. Pray with me. Father, thank you for the privilege to come before you in prayer in a setting like this, to humble ourselves before you. So we thank you for all of your amazing provision for each of us personally and for this village. It is truly an honor to serve the people of Bartlett. And so I want to thank you for the men and women here who serve faithfully and the decisions that they make affect so many lives on such personal levels. So Father, we want to make decisions for the best of our people. Uh, this evening, I want to ask for your help in two very specific ways. First, your word says that if we ask for wisdom, you give it generously. Father, would you grant the men and the women leading our city in our time tonight your wisdom? And second, your word says that we should seek your will above all else. So as they discuss and decide, may you superintend this time so that your will, not our own will, may be done. We thank you again, and we pray all of this in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Feeling. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brings us to our consent agenda this evening. All items listed with an asterisk will be enacted in one motion. There will be no separate discussion on items on the consent agenda. At this point, is, does any of the board members wish to add or remove anything from the consent? Mr. President, I'd like to add items D1 through 3. Okay. And I would like to add F1. <clears throat> Are there any issues with F1 being added to the consent? Mr. President, can we add item B2 to the consent? Anybody want to discuss the rotary clock? We will be discussing it under new business in, in short. I guess that does it. All right, so I will entertain a motion to amend the consent agenda to include the following. The consent would include the bills list from January 21st, 2020. We would be adding item two under Community and Economic Development Committee. So items B1 and B2 would be on the consent. Items D1, 2, and 3 under License and Ordinance Committee would be under the consent. And we'd be adding under Public Works Committee F1 on the consent. So moved. moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, second by Trustee Carbonero. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Ranke? Yes. Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Amy? Yes. Cabrenia? Yes. Hopkins? A motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve the amended consent agenda. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Cammer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Cabrenia? Yes. Hopkins? No. Ranky? Yes. A motion carries. Uh, next item on the agenda would be the approval of the minutes from the Board and Committee Minutes, January 7, 2020. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Carbonero. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Cabrera? Yes. <clears throat> Hopkins? Yeah. Ranky? Abstain. Kimmer? Yes. That motion carries. Next item we have on our agenda is the Treasurer's Report, Mr. Mm -hmm. Treasurer. Thank you. Included in your board packets is the Treasurer's Report for the month of November. Also included is a sales tax report. We received $227,334 this month compared to $215,000 last year, so we're up uh, about 5%. Also included is the MFT report. We received $136,575. Of that, $80,926 was the old MFT tax. $55,000 was the new, uh, the new method of the, the extra tax this year. If there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer those. Otherwise, that's it for the Treasurer's Report. Thank you. Anyone? Hearing none, 
Next item we have is our president's report. We have a very large crowd here for the president's report. I've asked Trustee Daney to help me with these resolutions. So Trustee Daney would mind stepping up here and sure, be glad to. read these. Yeah. How do we this time, Vince? We have uh, several people that have uh, volunteered in the village for many, many years, and we got some resolutions recognizing them. Resolution recognizing Gerald Cabasco for his service on the Economic Development Commission. Whereas Gerald Cabasco has been a resident of Bartlett since 1977 and took his seat on the Bartlett Eco Economic Development Commission shortly thereafter. Whereas Commissioner Cabasco's tenure on EDC, where he serves as chairman, has coincided with some of Bartlett's most notable business developments, including Brewster Creek Business Park, the busy Route 59 commercial corridor, and the redevelopment of downtown Bartlett. And he's gener generously shared his time, his insight, and his input with the village to help shape these important projects. And whereas Jerry's proven commitment to advancing the good of the village and his demonstrated affection for our community calls forth our great pride in calling him a Bartlett resident and one of our tremendous civic volunteers. Here's Jerry. Therefore, I, Kevin Wallace, President of the Village of Bartlett, Cook, DuPage, and Kane Counties, extend our deep appreciation to Jerry Cabasco for his distinguished service on the Economic Development Commission and offer him our congratulations and best wishes on his 40-year anniversary in this position. Thank you, Jerry. Because of uh, Trustee Daney's length of time on the Plan Commission, I ask that he read um, Mr. Lemberg's resolution. Thank you very much, Mayor. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, whereas Jim Lemberg has been a resident of Bartlett since 1976, and whereas he has served this community well for many years, including more than 10 years as a coach and referee for the youth soccer leagues, and whereas he was a valuable advocate for the village's recreational needs when he served on a committee that helped to plan the Bartlett Park District Community Center. And whereas Jim's 40 years of dedicated service as a member, vice chairman, and then chairman of the village of Bartlett Plan Commission have left a long lasting and positive mark on the commercial, industrial, and residential areas in every corner of our municipality. And whereas his proven commitment to advancing our community and has demonstrated affection for our village calls forth our great pride in calling him a Bartlett resident and one of our tremendous civic volunteers. Therefore, I, Raymond Daney, a chairman, a trustee of the village of Bartlett, and Kevin Wallace, president of the village Bartlett, Cook and DuPage and Kane counties, extend our deep appreciation to Jim Lemberg for his distinguished service on the Plan Commission and offer him our congratulations and best wishes on his 40th anniversary in that position. Congratulations, Jim. Finally, certainly not least, 
Uh, Michael Worden's family came to Bartlett in 1961 when he was just two years old. Whereas he also has spent many of his years as an active and enthusiastic volunteer in various civic organizations and working on projects that observe and celebrate our community's historic milestones. Serving on the Bartlett Preser Preservation Commission as a member of the Bicentennial Youth Commission and as a longtime member of the Bartlett Historical Society. And whereas Michael has shaped and influenced the progress of our village during his 40 years of service as the member of a, and chairman on the Zoning Board of Appeals, and where has his proven commitment to advancing our community and his demonstrated affection for our village calls forth our great pride in calling him a Bartlett resident and one of the tremendous civic volunteers. Therefore, I, Kevin Wallace, village president of the village of Bartlett, Cook, DuPage, and Kane counties, extend our deep appreciation to Michael Weirden for his distinguished service on the ZBA and offer him our congratulations and best wishes on his 40 year anniversary with this board. Thank you, Michael. reflexes. Kind of in the middle. Mike, come to the right. Mike, come over to the right. Keep coming. Keep going. Keep coming. Jerry, Keep move going. over a little. Keep going. There you go. A little closer, guys. Jerry, move over a little more. Jerry, move over. There you go. like six years is a long time. Seven. Oh, no. you know, a lot of people ask um, how Bartlett has that hometown feel and I think that these three gentlemen kind of represent the reason why. Um, their, their tenure has been tremendous so I think that has a good, uh, that's one of the ingredients as to why our, our hometown does still have that hometown feel. Um, any questions any board members have for staff? Town hall portion of the meeting. If anyone would like to address the meeting, kindly stand, uh, uh, step up to the podium, uh, state your name and address um, for the record, and try to keep your comments to three minutes. Is anything anyone would like to address the board with this evening? Hearing none, we'll move on to our standing committee reports this evening. Uh, first standing committee reports, Building and Zoning Committee, Chairman Hopkins. Thank you, President Wallace. There is nothing under Building and Zoning tonight. Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. Next standing committee report is Community and Economic Development Committee, Chairman Gabrenya. Thank you, Mr. President. Both of our items were covered under consent this evening. Thank you, Chairman Gabrenya. Next Finance and Golf Committee, Chairman Daney. Thank you, Mr. President. There was nothing on the agenda this evening. Thank you, Chairman Daney. License and Ordinance Committee, Chairman Ranke. Thank you, Mr. President. All three items were on consent. Thank you, Chairman Ranke. Police and Health Committee, Chairman Carbonero. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, nothing to report under Police and Health tonight. Thank you, Chairman Carbonero. Uh, Public Works Committee, Chairman Kammerer. Thank you, Mr. President. The one item we have is covered under the consent agenda. Thank you, Chairman Kammerer. Um, there are two items that I have under new business. As a Liquor Commissioner, there's uh, two licenses to be issued. Um, we enacted those um, licenses under License and Ordinance Committee. And um, if there aren't any objections, I intend to issue both those licenses. No objection. State with clear. Uh, license 120 Live Class A Liquor License Request and Dorothy's Cafe Class B Liquor License Request will be approved as, as, as um, 
submitted. Does anybody have any other questions for staff? All right. New business? Um, yes, new business. Um, with the ever rising um, sewer and water rates, um, they don't seem like they're going to be coming down anytime soon, and I know a lot of it's due to our Lake Michigan transition. Um, is there ways that staff could look at other ways of funding the sewer and the water besides user fees? Um, I think it's maybe worth looking into, maybe taking money from other funds to pay for debt services on, on those particular funds. So if that could be looked at at a future committee meeting. Thank you. Maybe we could try to bring something up at strategic planning too. That would be a topic of a good discussion maybe. Yep. Thank you, uh, Trustee Hopkins. Um, any other new business? Just a quick comment on um, one of the items that uh, was covered on a consent this evening was an agreement between the Village of Bartlett and Bartlett Rotary. Um, the Rotary Club has committed to installing a clock in the town center, and it's something that many of our members, I being um, one of the members of Rotary and several in this room, I'm very proud to be Rotarians and um, have been working on this clock project for quite some time and have dedicated um, a lot of time and energy and fundraising efforts to bringing this beautiful clock to the town center. It's uh, going to be a kind of a traditional uh, rot rotary clock facade um, and style and as seen in many other communities around um, the world actually and we have several of the members of the committee here today and I'm so proud that that the village has uh, agreed to allow us to put this beautiful clock in the town center and if there's anybody else who has comments um, in regard to that. Is there, is there any um, additional uh, spaces left? Should we let the public know if there's any additional spaces left? Because some of the fundraising is selling spaces kind of like the um, veterans deal. Hi, Susie Sias on behalf of the Bartlett Rotary Club. Uh, what Kevin is referring to is the clock is going to have some plaques on the sides of it and we're selling space where people can put their names. It's $250 for an individual smaller spot and $1,000 for a larger spot. I know we're still offering the first rights to the Rotary right now, and then we have um, a manner in which we're going to roll it out to the public, but yeah, okay. we expect to do that soon. It's a lovely way to memorialize your family or your business um, um, here within the community, and we expect that clock to be standing for a long, long time. So. Thank you yeah. to Rotary, thank you to the village for the efforts that you all put forth to get it in the right place and make that happen, so thank you. And just so everybody knows, it's going to be, I believe, kind of by the fountain, right? Over here by the fountain? That's correct. Yeah, and how tall is it? I forget. Uh, about 16 feet. 16 feet. Ish. And it's got a train whistle on it, so every hour the train whistle. We're working on that, yeah. We're going to coordinate it. <laughs> we'll see. Turn that off. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Rotar Rotarians have a, uh, uh, I think, a list that we signed up to for everybody to wind it whenever yes. they need to wind <laughs> it. Come on, right? Yeah. Thank oh, you, wait. Susie. Thank you. Wait a second. It's a Rolex. It's not a Timex. <laughs> Rolex. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Susie. Any other new business or questions for board for staff before we do adjourn this meeting? I just want to let everybody know we will be, um, during committee, at the end of committee, we'll be adjourning to executive session to discuss the sale of village-owned property <clears throat> pursuant to section 2C6 of the Open Meetings Act. We'll also be discussing in that executive session um, security and public safety pursuant to section 2C8 of the Open Meetings Act. And also in that executive session, we'll be discussing pending probable and imminent litigation pursuant to section 2C11 of the Open Meetings Act. With that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Would the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Daney? Yes. Gabrenya? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. We are